My name is Fujiango and I'm going to do a 13 events of Year of Impossible Goodbyes. Yeah. The story began in spring 1945. The main character of this story is Sukan. And the setting of this story is one Japanese occupied Korea. Hawaii's uh, birthday was in June. So mother planned to have a birthday party for Hawaii. For the birthday present, grandfather gave her his Chinese character characters, calligraphy, and mother gave her the small book of Christian stories and others. But in the middle of party, Captain Narita interrupted, so they had to stop it. Grandfather didn't come out from his room. So the upset grandfather and make him angry, Captain Narita ordered two young Japanese Korean police to chop down the pine tree. Captain Narita knew it was the best way to punish the grandfather. Grandfather got ill after Captain Narita's punishment. When he was six, sick, mother told about family's history to Inchon and Sukan. After a few days, grandfather passed away. After grandfather's death, mother couldn't work properly. Captain Narita threatened her by saying he will take the soft girls to the Japanese soldiers. Even though mother worked hard, uh, Captain Narita broke his promise. One day, Sukan's mother got a letter which had uh, said Sukan what? Oh. Uh, has to attend a uh, Japanese school. Sukan was scared because her brother was hit with a ruler by the Japanese teacher. So Inchun told her not to speak Korean. <laughs> <laughs> not to speak Korean and be like him. The teacher was Narita Sensei, Captain Narita's wife. On August 15, 1945, Korea got freedom from Japan. Because the war was over and Japan is he mad? <laughs> and Japan had lost. Everyone was happy about it. But they had to be careful about still the Japanese soldiers had a weapon. After the Japanese left, People who wanted the labor camp came back. Everyone was happy to meet their lost family members, but there was a lot of sadness too, because there were many people who were missing and who had passed away. Also, the Japanese soldiers did bad things to the Koreans. However, Sukan couldn't find her father and brothers. After the Japanese left, there was there was a freedom for the Koreans, but there was a new problem for them. The new problem was the Russian. Mm. Came to the north and Korean and told the Koreans they will protect them. So the Koreans became friendly with them. And mother told my uh, mother said Russians are bad. After the Japanese left, people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the Russians said they will protect the Koreans, they and be nice. But they made the Koreans all right every day. They made the Korean kids to go to the little proletariat school. And learn about how the America is and about Russia. And for the adults, uh, they forced them to work every day. There were many people who escaped to the south or were caught before they going to the south. south. So mother planned to go to the south. But she didn't have any plan. But one day, Kizo met father, and she, he gave Sukan a way to have the li ah, no, lift the nurse. With the help of father's plan, Sukan, Inchon, and mother prepared 
but Kisa and, and Tiger couldn't live the north at the north. If they le are left together, then the Russians will notice them. First, they met the guy who will lead them to the south, and they followed him. When they arrived at the uh, goat house, mother was caught by a soldier, and Sukhan and Inchen knew that this guy was a spy of the Russians. One day, oh yeah, one day later. So they had many problems, but they finally arrived in the south. When they went to the house uh, where their father and brothers lived, they couldn't find mother. After mother, Inchen, and Sukhan left the north, the Russian knew Kisa's and um, Tiger's other activities. Also, they knew their loyalties were fake. So the Russians killed them like the other traitors with a machine gun. After six long months, mother suddenly appeared at the house. She had to go to a <laughs> labor camp in Siberia, but one of the <coughs> Russian colonels need, needed someone to cook and clean for his young wife. One day she had to, uh, she had no specific plan, but she couldn't get across the border. So she arrived at home in Seoul. In June 1950, the war between North and South began. Because of this, Korean's freedom and happiness didn't last long. Many North Koreans and Russian soldiers filled the streets and it made people scared. Uh, I'm, this is mother, and her name is Hyunsung. And Hyunsung is Teresa Hansen, Dechen, Hyunsung, Sukhan, and Inchen's mother. She married his father, and she is grandfather's daughter. And she always made some milk cookies and some tea for some girls. Also, Hyunsung has beautiful face. She said, like, we will go very soon, but for now, we have to prepare tea and millet crackers for the girls so that they can many socks for the Imperial soldiers. The girls come from far away, and on empty stomachs, they will not be able to make so many socks. And she saw a glimmer of light at the other end and crawled toward it without knowing where it was, uh, it was living. When she reached the end, she found she had turned a tunnel under the bird wire fence and was on the southern side of the 38th parallel. It, said, it showed that mother is brave and, oh lord, oh lord, merciful lord, she said like this to Captain Narita and it showed that mother likes some girls and mother was known as the beauty of her hometown. And when the war is over, you can find the whole field with flowers. It showed that mother having hope that of Japanese to live. <laughs>